Paul tells the church, let the word of Christ dwell in you all richly. Most of us don't deny the importance of making God's word a central focus in our lives. And not just by learning it, but living it and hopefully loving it. We've all tried different ways to absorb his word and had some success, but probably quite a bit of failure. Let's be honest, the Bible is a massive, perplexing, sometimes boring, sometimes beautiful, ancient piece of literature. And to understand its overall message and how all the pieces fit together and how to correctly apply it is at times overwhelming. At NoHo Church, we're up for the task of having God's word dwell in us richly because we believe it brings life to our souls. And we understand that this directive isn't meant to be an individual endeavor, but a community commitment. That's why we're gonna spend one year together working our way through the Bible. Here's how this is gonna work. There's a really cool organization called The Bible Project that's laid out a simple Bible reading plan and created some really helpful summary videos to help us understand how each book of the Bible fits into the whole. There's a corresponding app which simply and beautifully lays out the reading and videos literally day by day and includes a psalm to pray through as well. This will take everyone about 20 minutes every day. A great discipline to develop if you haven't already. Here's the cool thing. If we all commit to this together, we'll share a common conversational connection with everyone in the church because I'm reading what you're reading. So in our 203s and any other context, we have a built-in starting point to share what God is teaching us and how it's affecting our lives. But this endeavor doesn't stop here. Each week during our midweek teaching, a zoom-in passage selected from within the daily readings will be taught in more detail. This won't be a summary of everything we're reading, just a focus on a particular passage chosen based on what's most relevant and timely to our specific needs as a church. And we'll be well prepared going into these teachings because the context for these zoom in passages will already be set in our daily readings. And to top it all off, our weekend fellowship meals will include some group follow-up discussion based on what we learned from the zoom in passages. This means that as a church, We'll be digesting the Bible in four different spaces. Personal daily readings, 203 conversations, midweek teaching, and fellowship meals. Now this might seem overwhelming, specifically the daily readings. Don't fret. We're not giving grades. If you get more than a few days behind, don't catch up. Just pick up with today's reading. This isn't meant to be a burden or legalistic, but life-giving. And we're doing it together. This is a church-wide commitment to letting the word of Christ dwell in us richly because we believe God's word brings life to our souls. Join us.